the extreme difficulty of scaling production of new technology is not well understood. It's 1,000% to 10,000% harder than making a few prototypes. The machine that makes the machine is vastly harder than the machine itself. Across Tesla's entire manufacturing ecosystem, no equipment represents the company's production-first philosophy more clearly than the 55,000-ton Giga Press. This is not just a large alloy casting machine. It represents Tesla's ambition to redesign the entire structure of automotive manufacturing, where a massive metal block can be created in just a few tens of seconds to replace hundreds of small components. With the Giga Press, Tesla aims for a future where electric vehicles are cheaper, more durable and manufactured with a level of speed and precision the traditional auto industry never imagined. So what exactly will the 55,000-ton Gigapress bring to an electric car like the Model 2? How much can the cost drop when hundreds of parts are eliminated? And more importantly, how durable, quiet, and stable can a seamless structure be after many years of use? In this video, we will focus on three points. The real strength of the 55,000-ton machine, how it cuts costs at a scale of hundreds of thousands of cars per year, and why a single-piece body can transform user experience in the decade ahead. All the answers begin right now, so make sure to subscribe to Auto Gear Shift to help the channel reach 20,347 subscribers and turn on notifications so you do not miss any breakdowns. How powerful is the 55,000-ton Giga Press, and why does it change how Tesla builds vehicle bodies? Mentioning the Tesla Model 2 means mentioning Tesla's largest production scaling strategy of the coming decade. To achieve this, Tesla needs an entirely new production solution where speed, precision, and cost all move in the most efficient direction. The 55,000-ton Gigapress exists for this purpose. The long assembly lines filled with hundreds of welding robots are no longer necessary. Instead, a nearly complete vehicle frame can be produced in a single alloy casting cycle. The first proof of this machine's capability is its clamping force. A 55,000-ton clamping force is strong enough to keep the steel mold sealed perfectly throughout the entire injection cycle. This is critical because if the mold opens even slightly, the molten aluminum will leak out and ruin the entire part. Compared with the 23,000-ton Gigapress used for the Model Y, the 55,000-ton version is 2.4 times stronger, meaning it can cast larger components while maintaining better stability, reducing vibration, minimizing mold misalignment, and improving accuracy. Thanks to the massive clamping force, Tesla can cast megacasts that are 1.6 to 1.9 meters long in about 90 to 110 seconds. The measured dimensional error is only about 0.25 millimeters. Such low deviation not only makes assembly easier, but also reduces noise, vibration, and long-term misalignment. For consumers, this is what creates a solid, cohesive, and long-lasting feel. The ability to handle large volumes of alloy is another critical factor. The melting chamber can hold 5 tons of molten aluminum at temperatures between 730 and 750 degrees Celsius. The heat required to maintain this mass is equivalent to the power consumption of a mid-sized apartment building. Keeping the temperature stable within a 3 degree Celsius window is a major achievement because if the alloy is too hot or too cold, it will affect flow rate, fill quality, and density. From this amount of metal, Tesla can produce megacasts weighing 120 to 180 kilograms, enough to integrate important structural sections such as the front casting and midsection. This eliminates many complex welding steps and keeps the vehicle structure stronger and more seamless. In traditional cars, high load areas like the front wheel arches require many reinforcement pieces. On the Model 2, these areas can be cast as one piece from the start reducing weight and deformation. When massive clamping force and large alloy volume combine, production speed rises significantly. A casting cycle requires only about 100 seconds, which is 18 to 25% faster than older machines. If operated for 20 hours per day, one gigapress can create 700 to 900 megacasts, 
equal to 260,000 to 320,000 frames per year. As volume increases, fixed costs fall, lowering the final price of the Tesla Model 2. Another factor that receives less attention but has a major impact is internal casting quality. The casting chamber is vacuumed down to 30 to 60 millibars, reducing gas bubbles inside the alloy. Gas bubbles are the main cause of micro cracks and reduced durability. By lowering bubble formation by 40 to 50 percent, structural torsion resistance increases by 25 to 30 percent, and crack rates fall below 0.5 percent. This is why Tesla can confidently claim that a Model 2 with megacast components will be more durable, more stable, and less prone to abnormal noises. If you had the chance to see the 55,000-ton Gigapress in action, what would you want to witness first? A. The moment the molten alloy floods the mold, or B. The instant the solid one-piece frame is lifted out. Comment your choice below. How does the 55,000-ton Gigapress reduce Tesla's production costs? The first major change comes directly from the Megacast design, a part that once required 270 to 370 small metal pieces is now replaced with a single piece. Each small component had to be stamped, surface treated, transported, stored, spot welded, measured, and quality checked. When a single casting replaces all of these steps, every one of those processes is eliminated. Tesla estimates that this alone reduces labor costs in the body and white area by 25 to 35 percent. Another major benefit comes from solidification. In older lines, metal needed about 40 seconds to cool. With the 55,000-ton Gigapress, solidification occurs in under 22 seconds thanks to an optimized cooling system that directly targets high warp prone zones. This reduces rework defects by up to 60%. If each car saves $200 to $350 only from reduced rework, the final cost of the Model 2 drops significantly. When components are cast as single pieces, the factory layout changes. A body shop that once required more than 300 welding robots now needs only about 40 to 60 robots. This not only saves equipment costs, but also reduces plant floor area by 30 to 40 percent. Internal material movement falls by 50 to 70 percent, reducing forklifts, storage, and wasted time. This is why Tesla often emphasizes that its advantage is not in electric vehicles themselves, but in producing electric vehicles faster and cheaper than any competitor. Production capacity is also a major lever. A line with three 55,000-ton gigapresses can produce 800,000 to 900,000 megacasts per year. When manufacturing costs drop by about $1,500 per vehicle, Tesla can save $1.5 billion when producing 1 million Model 2 units annually. This is why Tesla can price the car below $25,000 while maintaining profitability, something most automakers cannot achieve. Will faster production and fewer parts really change EV pricing for good? Comment Gigapress if you believe this is the turning point. How does the 55,000-ton technology improve durability and driving experience? The first improvement is structural rigidity. Megacasts eliminate weak points that appear in bodies formed from many welded steel sheets. With torsional rigidity increasing by 25 to 30 percent, the Model 2 remains stable even during sharp turns or rough road conditions. ANSWIS simulations show that cabin deformation decreases by 12 to 18 percent during collisions, meaning the driver's safety zone is less disturbed. Panel gap quality is also important. With deviations of only about 0.4 to 0.6 millimeters, the vehicle body fits more precisely and reduces wind noise by 20 to 30 percent at high speeds. For older drivers who are more sensitive to noise, this creates a noticeably better driving experience. For long-term durability, eliminating thousands of welds reduces rust potential by up to 70%. Structural rigidity stays stable for 15 to 20 years, far beyond the roughly 10-year stability of traditional welded frames. After eight years of use, 
panel misalignment on welded vehicles can reach 2 mm, while mega casts only deviate by about 0.6 to 0.8 mm. This preserves the solid feel, minimizes rattling, and reduces long term vibration. Tesla also designs front and rear crash modules for easier repairs. In light impacts, forces are absorbed by these modules, reducing front or rear repair costs by 20 to 35 percent. For users aged 45 and above who tend to keep cars longer and care about operating costs, this is a direct benefit. Compared with gasoline cars, annual maintenance savings can range from $600 to $1,200. Driving experience also improves significantly. A sealed and rigid structure reduces vibration by 15 to 22 percent at 70 miles per hour. The cabin is quieter. Sound resonance is reduced and cornering is smoother due to the cohesive mass structure. All of this results in a more confident, comfortable, and solid driving experience in the Tesla Model 2. The 55,000-ton Gigapress is not just another industrial milestone. It is the moment Tesla turns manufacturing itself into a competitive advantage. With each megacast, the Model 2 moves closer to a future where strength, silence, and precision are built directly into the metal rather than added through thousands of steps. The result is a car that ages slower, drives smoother, and costs less to build and maintain. It is the first real sign of what happens when production scaling becomes a science instead of a struggle. As Tesla pushes this system forward, the difference between a traditionally built car and a cast-structured Tesla will feel as large as the machine that produces it. If you want to keep following the breakthroughs that shape this next era of electric vehicles, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, support the channel's growth, and turn on notifications to stay ahead of every new update.